What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Drop the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you to some more Danganronpa. In the last episode, um, two people died, and uh, I had one very big non-reaction to one of them, because I was just 100% ready for it. Unfortunately, Taku Taka is uh, dead as well, and that's the one that hit a little bit harder. So, we have to go figure out, one, who killed them, two... Where the heck their bodies got dragged to because they literally decided, the killer decided to move them somewhere. So, honestly, we're going to go figure that out right now. Honestly, I don't know how we're going to do that, but we're going to do that. Where could the killer have dragged them? Oh, no, I think we're going to go to the rec room first or not because I'm, I'm just, okay. You know what? Fine. You know, we'll go to the rec room first. It goes to the, the wrong room. Okay. Hina, what are you doing, Hina? Where could the two dead bodies have disappeared to? I don't know. That's your job, and my job, and everybody's job. We need to search for bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? I don't know. Let's go into this room because this room seems like a very weird and hidden room. Rattle, rattle, huh? The door must be locked. Hmm. That door was not locked before. Why is that door locked? The rest of this, I don't... Is this going to be like, there's still more to be found? Leave the area? No. Okay. No. So why is that storage room locked? Back to the rec room. This is where the first incident happened, so this is not a bad place to double check. Okay, we have the justice hammer here, which we already figured out and talked about. Celeste. Okay, we already figured that out, yeah. Doesn't seem to be like anything of note here, except for maybe the pool table we haven't messed with. Ah, there's no way it's related to the case though, so. Hmm. Maybe we gotta check the nurse's office? So that's where Fumi started getting dragged from? I don't know. A lot of me thinks I'm overthinking this, which is very plausible. I'm getting tired of this. Honestly, I don't know where I'm going is the big thing. Or what I need to do. I know, Well, I know my objective is to find the two dead bodies, but... Like, that part I got. I got that on handle. What are you... What? Makoto? Why are you standing here? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean... Indeed. I found them. Hifumi and Taka's bodies that have been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. Their bodies are in the repository. The repository. Where is that? We have to get to the repository, too. So, they were hidden. What room is that? Physics lab. Physics lab. Equipment room. The classes. The rec room. Oh, the repository. Wait. If they were hidden in the repository... We were literally just there. Why was the door locked? We literally opened that door, and that it was like the door's locked. Celeste? Are the bodies somewhere? Here somewhere. Yeah, they're in the door. In the rattle rattle door that's locked. Up ahead, there's the repository. The door not turned. I guess it's unlocked now. I have no choice to go inside. Yeah, I mean, why? what the heck? So I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw... Okay, the bodies are there. The two bodies that disappeared that had disappeared were right here. The smell of blood made me gag. But what I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, and unwavering reality. Then I heard the announcement for the second time. That's right. A body has 
been discovered. Because, well, but didn't multiple people discover both bodies, though? Like, why is this announcement playing really late? After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. And so, here we are. And without further ado, I'll give you the next Monica file. I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but then I thought something might happen. And it was really, really hard to resist. And it turns out I was right. Just hand them over already. Now, make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the class trial. Okay, see you later. Well then, now that we found the bodies, that's all that all that's left is a cut and cover is the culprit. Hold on. How can it be so so calm? I meant I mean they're dead, you know. Dead. Gone forever. They're never coming back. Awful. This is just too awful. Hina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched to Fumi's life as his body. Why are you worried about him, of all people? Who would do this? Why? Why? Large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed in Fumi's cheeks. If this were some world of make-believe that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But it wasn't a movie. This wasn't... Are you fucking kidding me right now? I can't believe I'm actually mad I re that I hate somebody who might be alive. Is this like a last dying breath thing? Hopefully. His memories are blended together. He has nothing useful to offer us. The blight has reached out to me like the tail of a comet. Hey, Hifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolutely undeniable death. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed on his face, there was no second miracle. Reality had set in again. This isn't some sort of stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins. No calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of your w his way to return with just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. He said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps Yasuhiro. Hagukare. That's the only person that he could have been referring to. So in other words and with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and kill even killing Taka and Ifumi. Going that far to hide their bodies... A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers? Is that what Hero is? What is if it is true, I cannot forgive him. No way I can ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends? Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit. Our little life or death game here. Although, this time, it's not all that life or death. With a trial to conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yep, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. 
I have no choice but to go through this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it. First, I better check the Monokuma file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kie Otaka Ishimaru. Is Ishimaru. The cause of death were both blows to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it. Very strange. Yep, it is pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened th than the Monokuma could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. There's something else that's bothering me. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Uh, Without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice? What are you doing here? Monokuma, Don't be rude. Yeah. I'm here to answer your question. What question? Yep. You're talking about the accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial? Speaking of which, Spe I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So, so what you're saying is nobody worked together this time either. Sorry, I cannot answer that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. If you want to make sure you didn't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder, only one black can graduate. An accomplice gets nothing. So in other words, then we only need to figure out who that one black is that did the killing, right? Just like well? normal. Okay, okay. Let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you'll need to determine is the one true blackened who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true blackened. So just one person. Well, that's though an ex. That's enough for explainifying. Now, it is down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all of the contestants. So. There can only be one blackened, an accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't see any any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. You might be right. Um, if that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However, as long as she is not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get right back to the investigation. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it would not hurt to pursue further information. So, um... You know... Don't you think you should we should consider a certain someone as a suspect in the case? I'm talking about a murderous fiend, genocide Jack. What? Oh, what? I'm offended. Oh. What? Who? When did you? I've been looking all over for you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. Anyway, you there, milk sack, some wimmer girl. Milk sack. Why do I gotta be a suspect? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer after all. So what, am I a special guest every single time? I have an alibi, you know? She's right about that. When we heard a female scream, she was with me. And the body when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, talk his body aside. I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move a Fumi's body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> they don't call me a murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That is not the kind of thing you should go bragging about. Let's on another topic, should we post guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then. Hina and I can handle that. If you don't mind, do you, Hina? Mm. Sure. I told to be useless to the investigation anyway. Clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. The whole thing is so strange. All of us have one alibi. Have an alibi, so figuring out who it is should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Monokuma File 3 has been added to the truth bullet section. Taka. He'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died to a, from a blow to the head. We found just his hammer four near his body in the equipment room. Is that what we used to kill him? And there, a tar blade out under his body. Did the killer use 
for this to move Taka's body. That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind where the body was moved. The blue tarp. Ifumi's big, cold body laying on the floor. He is a really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move something so big? From the nurse's office, where he was discovered here to the repository, all the way from the first to the third floor, and all of that without anyone noticing it? How the hell? It's no good. I just don't get it. I think I can think about it later, but for now I have to finish investigating Ifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Ifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to a head, probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was lying around the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. There's something off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifumi's body in the nurse's office versus how his body is right now. That's it. His glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses was covered in blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean that somebody wiped his glasses off? But who would do that? And why? Hifumi's glasses. The mallets are from here because they're missing. The hammers are all different sizes hanging on the wall. Although, some of them are more like mallets. Mallets? Th could the Justice Hammers have been, have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers are obviously have seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Spotless hammer has been added to the truth bullet section of your hand. That's the cart. Oh, the... We already got that. Game, we already got this. I wanted to go a little bit up, I guess. A dolly that doesn't have a handle. I saw it in the art room before. I guess it had been used to you move the statues around. It's kind of awkward, but when you bend down, it's not too hard to use. But wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheels. There's a blood stain on it. So the blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved to the equipment room in the repository. What's the explanation for it? I guess we can talk to Hina and Sakura and see if they have anything to say. They might. Hey, um, Makoto, I've been thinking about something. What? It's about the repository, huh? What is that? Mm. After Ufumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared. It was. I was really scared. So me and Sakura stuck together, and we came to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we got there, the repository was locked. We couldn't even get inside. It was locked. Mm. When we came here, as soon as to search, as the soon as the search started, so there's no way they could have beat us here. If that's true, then who locked it? And why was it locked? unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked. I'll probably have to leave this area to figure that out. Yes, probably. And this is just... We have to Sakura and Byakuya just in case they have something for us. Which they might have an account. There are so many aspects to the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that, it may be good to look back on everything that has happened. Would you like my help? Yes. Yeah, let's look back on things. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Hina, Kyoko, you, and myself. We waited for each other, but nobody showed up as we decided to go look for them. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. As soon as we split up, Kyoko disappeared. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor. They quickly became, came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her, meaning just after 7 o'clock. Based on the pictures Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was Robo Justice, and it also became clear that Robo Justice was, had dragged Hifumi away. After meeting up with Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costumed assailant, and we found an injured Hifumi in the library on the second floor. We took a look. We took him down to the nurse's, nurse's office on the first floor, then reassumed our search. But not after leaving, long after leaving the nurse's office. What's wrong? I saw a shadow, something moving around on the top of the stairs. 
Based on Celeste's claims, they went back up to the second floor, where we split off and began searching. Then, right after that, Celeste screamed. This time, she had apparently seen a suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. And then? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been. Hey, Fumi. He is in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on. We must go back. At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. And you, Byakuya, and Toko pursued the suspect up on the third floor. No. Oh, wait. This is this is Makoto. Yes. And when we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi's corpse, which was also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left Celeste Hina alone and headed back up to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. However, but at the same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room, which means Hifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time. Because I remembered having a body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and told you that Byakuya and Hifumi had been killed. Or told you and Byakuya that Hifumi had been killed, right? Then you, me, and Byakuya all headed back to the nurse's office, leaving it behind Toko, who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who had just arrived to tell us that something very unusual happened. Afumi's body had been dis has disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office to discover his corpse was in fact gone. Then we remembered we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? This time, Taka's body had disappeared. So from there, we began our search both of the from both of the missing bodies. And after some time, Celeste told us she had found the bodies. And we're, we were all headed to the repository. That's when we rediscovered the two bodies had been apparent that had apparently been vanished. And that's what brings us up to now. Looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at this case again, just let me know. I'm fine anytime. But yeah, yeah, do you think Hero really did it? I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the the attacks and murders and disappearance all happened, every one of us had an alibi. The last thing Hifumi said when he died. Yeah, he said Hero's name. Then there is no a room then there's no room to suspect anyone. Okay, but if he did it, why would he hide his identity in that weird costume? Maybe if he th he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's a fool of the century, you see? I mean he kinda is dumb. But do you really think he's that that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. And that is all that's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try and hide the bodies? They probably figured that if they couldn't find the bodies, they couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit is a moron. If that is all that there really is to it. The other thing that bothers me is, why did they bother killing two people? Because if the rule says if you kill someone, you get away with it, right? So if you're if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But if killing two people means cl more clues, more chances, you'll get found out. Mm. Hold on. Perhaps. I see. So that's what the ma that means. I is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What was with that attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he had figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? There's definitely a lock on this door, but it can only be locked from the inside of the repository. I don't see a way to lock it from the art room. Hmm. The door can be unlocked on the inside of the repository, which makes me wonder. 
He and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. The door is designed so that it can only be locked from the inside of the repository. So in other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. But when they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way that someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that certain someone... Repository door has been added to the truth bullets in the section of your handbook. Hmm, that's gotta be a there's gotta be a clue right here somewhere. There's some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Hifumi was found. Then the equipment office where Taka was found. Well, let's go to Taka first. I think that makes the most sense. Then we can travel to the nurse's office if we don't have a closer objective from there. Still open. There's not much on this floor here. I feel like I've seen this before, and just recently, too. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. If there was blood on this tire, could that blood come from here? Which means Taco Body was moved from the equipment room using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that would definitely have been possible. Equipment learned bloodstain. If only the dolly was used to move Taka's body. What about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there is no way to get him on to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. The body was moved, as, but the murder weapon was just left here. So that's the only thing that we can worry about there. So now we can go to the nurse's office by checking the map. I think I have to leave the area first, though. Yes, map. Floor one. Yeah, cool. And we got our friend Celeste already in there. Oh, I can. I could have run like that. Oops. Well, I didn't know that was a thing <laughs> until now. <laughs> until chapter three. But okay. Okay, what does this Justice Hammer have to say? <sighs> Justice Hammer 3 was the one they used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. What does the fridge have to do with anything? A refrigerator. I wonder if there's a drink inside. After everything I've been, I've been through, I'm totally parched. Might have a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here for blood transfusions, I guess. Doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good line. Maybe there's something in the garbage can. It's just a normal garbage can. Wait, there's something inside. I'm too small. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh. But it was also covered in blood. Oh. Ah, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody? Whoever this belonged to might have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? Hmm. I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me neither. But I think that it might be important. Celeste's account, maybe. What are you investigating, Celeste? I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around, seeing if Hero might be heading anywhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking out this and that. 
The main reason, or the main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hafumi's body. How Hafumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yeah, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And then when he got back, the body was gone. Mm. We could not have it gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hufumi's body in that short amount of time. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hufumi for only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of anything less than impossible. I knew Celeste's account was going to be part of this again. I just had the... Had the feeling. So, is this where you were? I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making a little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, you should go to Hero's Room. Oh, then let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is a note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? You remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> hmm. Things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe any more explanation. Bye. I said that. I literally was like, hero. The My reaction to the hero, hero writing that was very, very... I was like, that's a sussy. Is I think exactly what I said. And I said it in the most cringe manifest that I could. But I was right. That's a... Makes me feel good. Also, it said the hero's room. Um, he said to go to hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? Also, love how I said I had the same reaction again as main character. Like, what am I wanted, or what's wanted from me in there? But I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's by going there. And that probably will end the episode. To be honest, is going to uh, Biakia's or not Biakia's room, uh, Hero's room for the first time. So let's go to Hero's room and we can do this. The door it's unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Biakia did say to look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. This is Hero's room. There's all kind of weird stuff in here. Where did he even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something, and... Something's made out of... It looks like cardboard and plastic and plaster. This is Robo Justice, and it's in Hero's room. But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Robo Justice blueprints have been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Ordinary bed, probably. That's just leaving. The rest seems pretty normal. I soundly checked the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy, though. How does the bathroom even get this dirty? I think we've seen everything we need to see. Makoto! Big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Robo Justice showed up, too. Robo Justice? It's Hiro wearing the costume. Anyway... As soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. To think Hiro and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyways, I've heard I've had to head to the pool. I ran out to the second floor as soon as I could. Kyoko and I mean Whew. Man, I've had the worst day. Hero? Uh, 
um, oh. hero. Oh, hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Who else would it be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? What? Why do I look like this? What? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati, bruh? Hmm. Robo just had finally made his appearance, huh? I guess Kyoko was the one that found him. Hmm. Apparently, the ridiculous object is Hero. I'd ask Kyoko for details if I were you. Right. I found Hero. He was jammed in the pool locker. It looked like he was just fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke up. I still believe you. I can't believe you kicked me, bruh. You couldn't have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been this all this whole time? You disappeared, disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. Wow. There was nothing I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. Can't never mind. Nothing. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that, but she doesn't have any idea. Does she know that people think she might have been spying on them for the mastermind? Yeah. First of all, Hiro, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, well, uh, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep. Don't even know that how that happened. Then I woke up, and it was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me to look at you. Huh? Well, um, <laughs> I don't here. know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> Why would you be make something like that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid friggin' thing. Seem... There's a clasp at the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy, but I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Ooh, free at last. Mm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly that suit fits Hero? So then. More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Oh, okay. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. In other words, it is obvious that everyone, to everyone that you made this costume. That's true. I saw the blueprints for myself. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Then it's obvious the one who put this costume on and went around attacking people was Hero. Mm -hmm. Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just for work. Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. What? Tie me up. Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... Uh Attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you're talking about. You can't talk your way out of this. It has been decided. You killed them. <laughs> what? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. That must have been a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. There, who else could possibly have been the, the costume attacker? The How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself and before you convict me okay. fine if you're gonna be a jerk about it i will without missing a beat hina start putting on the robot this costume huh. see look see how loose it is i mean come on i'm blind as a bat in here can't see my feet at all i'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing i'm telling you it wasn't me and not to mention you totally can't bend at the waist that's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm? Uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, <sighs> now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off and again. <sighs> well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh no, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can Just wear this. See, I told you it was impossible. 
You are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hiro's body exactly. But then there's another costume that hey, they might must have have one that looks the same but fits them instead. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. Evidence. You claim that there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. What the heck? Who cares? Here's the only one without an alibi. Doing this whole thing anyway. Which is why, how we know it was him. I mean, is it really true? I have no idea what has been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? Robo Justice costume has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I should see what everyone else has to say. Oh. I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. Hmm. But where has Kyoko been hiding this entire time? I have no idea. Perhaps. perhaps she really is working with the mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? But <laughs> are you quite provocative or protective of her? You were quite protective of her, yes? That is because she helped me out so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I would do to earn your trust. Looking more and more like it really was a setup. She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk. I'd better leave her alone. What the heck? Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured it out. Someone has been killed, right? Hey, Makoto. Who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Fumi. What? what? Two people. Why are you freaking out? You're the one who did it anyway. I did not. Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed, that's it. I know who did it. So then. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and, and Fumi were fighting all over Alter Ego, right? Which means Alter right. Ego and our Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Oh, huh? Unfortunate? <laughs> Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so and then. I know that note. Note. Uh, um, last night, the one slipped. Last night, someone slipped a weird note in under my door. And here's what it said I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out. So don't tell anyone else. For now, let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room. Then for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Not a so... chance. No. Hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office didn't use. I didn't have chemicals that could do that. Really? Mm. I told you. Someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage. A chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check it, right? Ugh, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Well, you should buy it. Okay, then show us the note. With pleasure. If I have it right in my, um, pocket... Looks like I've lost it. Yeah, sure. Please. Please. You gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must provide evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with that claim. But if you want us to believe you, you have to give us a reason. Uh... What the heck? Was serious? Yes, here are the count. It's been out of the truth bullet section. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before class trial begins. Why don't you keep investigating? We already know who did it. Why? Why did you kill him? Tell us, Hero. Uh, no, like I said. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? That must be it. Your new must be totally broken. That's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help. Just be thankful we haven't found, bound, and gagged you. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for evidence, right? Uh, yeah, you're right. We need to look for a second suit on that note. 
feet don't fail me now. I guess I'd better get back on guard duty. I was going to ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to help make some, up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but could you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you be able to tell me why you disappeared? Why no. To reject me so simply. Anyway. anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So, Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from the girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to anyway. answer that? Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial began. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. Then I guess you should head that way for now. So, in the next episode, we'll be going to the repository and uh, with Kyoko to uh, explain to her everything that's happened, everything that we have noticed, and all the craziness that has unfolded without her. She needs to be caught up on this. She's our number one like person. So, I'll see you guys when we do that. Bye!